The Swanson sisters of Massachusetts, Gail, Debbie, Trisha, Lisa, and Paula, are as close as five sisters can be. In 2002, their bond was strengthened when the youngest sister, Paula, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Rallying around their little sis, they saw her through her darkest hour. Then the devastating news in August 2007, Paula's cancer was back. And that would be just the beginning for this family. By the end of the year, two other sisters, Trisha and Debbie, were also diagnosed with breast cancer. Knowing that my aunt had just been diagnosed, and I'm like, now my mom has it, and I just cried. With grace and humor, Paula, Trisha, and Debbie battled the disease, calling themselves cancer triplets. And in 2009, more bad news. On April Fool's Day, Lisa was told she had breast cancer. She jokingly says she caught it from her other three sisters. They've definitely taught us that, that the humor is the best medicine. As for Gail, the eldest Swanson sister, she is cancer free. And along with her sisters, is determined to raise awareness about the disease for the next generation. I think I've had incredible role models to look up to and know that it's a tough fight, but I can do it if I did have to face that someday. And for Paula, whose cancer is terminal, it's not only about raising awareness, but also about sharing moments of joy with loved ones and taking each day with an ounce of laughter and an infinite dose of sisterly love. How are you, Paula? Today's a good day. And that's how you day. take it. You take mm -hmm. it day by day. Then how have you all helped each other, Lisa? Just being there. Um, I was the last to be diagnosed, so um, they knew the questions to ask and what to expect. Um, have somebody to lean on, cry on. Mm -hmm. Someone to um, come over and get you out of bed <laughs> and get you in the shower. <laughs> it's just exhausting, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, you just... It is. It's... Trisha and I had kind of a joke, be talking on the phone, and we'd say, oh, I want that sip of water that sits right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't get it. <laughs> the last one. Oh, it's right there. Oh. I forgot all about that. That was, yeah, that yeah, was an effort. Thing. Some people would say that you would have every right to be angry and bitter and mean, but you're not. This next generation, and our daughters and their daughters, um, have such a chance to not eradicate the disease, but to certainly take action when they get the information that they are gene positive, mm -hmm. um, which all of them are. Have you taken the test? Yes, BRCA they're test? all BRCA positive. BRCA2 positive, Gail is not. Gail, do you, do you deal with guilt? I did deal with the guilt. I um, also felt, of course, a lot of relief, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. more so for my children and their future health than for my own, but um, there wasn't a lot of joy because my being negative didn't take away any of their illness. You have seven mm -hmm. daughters and two sons mm -hmm. among you. You have mm -hmm. grandchildren now mm -hmm. uh, among you, so Paula, the, do you see that and it just... I know it brings tears to your eyes, but it, it brings tears to my eyes that I almost probably miss my daughter's children, but at least I can experience yeah. um, Debbie's. Mm -hmm. I, I know part of the reason that you all are here, um, because of your daughters mm -hmm. and because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. What is the message that you hope people receive from your story? MRI, MRI, MRI. <laughs> <laughs> if they tell you you don't need it, tell them you want it. Mm -hmm. I really want young women to be persistent and insistent with their doctors mm. and their, their insurance companies. Some of our daughters were denied simple mammography always bring somebody with you when you go to um, a mm -hmm. doctor's appointment because you're only going to hear half of what they're telling you. I think they said it all. Mm -hmm. um, just to be aware and don't put off your mammogram. Have it done because um, it saved my life. 